Good morning. Welcome to the Danville Area Community College Radio Show. We are so happy to have you with us this morning. Lots of good things going on at the college. And today we have as our guest, Dr. Eric Simonson. And he and I were just talking about literally the semester's getting close to finals. So, you know, we, we got to, well, let me see. I think December 15th is the last final. So we're getting really close to it. But anyways, we are very happy to have Dr. Simonson with us. And Eric, you and I were talking before we went on the air. Let's talk about To Kill a Mockingbird because we're both excited that the theater program's going again. Yes. Well, I just was so impressed by uh, the the cast, uh, the, uh, the, the acting, uh, the direction. Uh, I went Saturday night and... Uh, the first word that comes to mind is professional. They just seemed all so professional. And um, and so I'm looking forward to next semester uh, working with Angie Mansfield um, on a musical. So I'll get to be music director for Bye Bye Birdie. And we're going to, I believe, have auditions. Um, either the end of January, beginning of February. Um, I, I don't know the exact dates, but but rehearsals definitely are going to start in February. So um, that's that's an exciting thing. Mm -hmm. So Eric, I went on Friday night and it was fairly crowded. I, I think there were maybe a few extra seats, but for the most part, it was pretty packed. How was Saturday? Um, I thought well attended as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> Well, again, congratulations to Angie and to all the cast members, all the support um, cast. They did an amazing job. I thought it was just first rate. And I, I was just very impressed. And, you know, it not only had people that were students at DACC, but it also had community members. It also had DACC employees. You know, we had Pete Barrett in it. Um, I, I just thought it was just a, a really great event, especially to, to restart the theater program. Mm -hmm. Yes off to a fine start they are. Yep. So Dr. Simonson, the last time I had you on, we were talking about some new things that were starting in your area. So catch us up. Well, this is the first semester we offered Music Theory 1 and Musicianship 1, which that's part of the new core curriculum of transferable music major courses. And so Last time I was on, I talked about the two degree programs now that we have for music majors, an associate in fine arts in music performance, as well as an associate in fine arts in music education. And so both of those degrees require um, a four course sequence of music theory, musicianship, as well as applied music, which those are music lessons, and we offer voice, piano, guitar, percussion, um, instruction in brass instruments, um, as well as uh, bass guitar. Uh, so we really have a lot of uh, fine adjunct faculty who are handling those music lessons. And uh, so there's that, and then there's the ensembles that they can enroll in and be a part of. And uh, the, uh, the Jaguar pep band is going strong. And also uh, we have college singers. So those are our two on-campus ensembles that people can join. But then some may also want to try out for the Danville Symphony Orchestra or um, the Vermilion Festival Chorus, because those also count as ensemble credits. So those are all things that are a part of, of the, uh, the music degrees that we have that are transferable. And what's pending uh, is the um, audio production degrees. And that would be an associate of applied science. And uh, we just have, I think, one course that needs to be articulated with four-year universities before we'll start offering the courses in um, recording studio techniques and uh, music business. Um, and uh, there's even going to be a, a video production course as part of that, because nowadays, uh, if you want to be a, you know, um, 
a, a, a you know a, a self-supporting musician uh you've got to promote yourself not just uh by the the music you make but the, the you know the image that you project and so video production is going to be a part of this as well so we're hoping that maybe next fall <laughs> everything will be approved and we'll be able to start offering those courses i know guido is chomping at the bit uh, to get that underway. Uh, he's actually been working independently with various students who have some music, uh, you know, production um, projects going. He's been working with them in our, in our production studio. That's the thing. We have all of the facilities. We just haven't been able to uh, offer the courses yet because we have a, a you know, a, a fully uh, functional um, not just recording studio, but but music production studio with um, all of the you know the computer workstations and and um, you know peripheral equipment that that would be necessary to make an album. It's all there. We just need <laughs> these courses to get approved, and then um, uh, hopefully we can get things launched next fall. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm actually going to have Guido on next week, so I'm going to pick his brain about what's going on down there. But I, I was just thinking, Eric, as you were talking, remember when you first came to DACC? And, you know, I'm, in, I'm imagining this is your dream unfolding. Yes, it is. In a lot of ways, it really is. And, um, and as things take off and we get more enrollment, um, I really look forward to being uh, not a one man show, <laughs> but but having a lot of, uh, you, you know, a lot of colleagues uh, to handle things because you really can't have a, a, an effective music program with just one person doing everything. Uh, sometimes I have felt kind of like a, a one arm paper hanger, as they say. All right. Mm hmm. So, you know, this community is such a huge arts community. This is something that's been needed for a long time. And, you know, I think once the word starts spreading that we're starting to offer all of these types of courses, I, you know, obviously we weren't before and people thought the only way to get this type of an education would be to go away to a four year. Well, now they're going to have that opportunity to do much of it here. Yes, that's right. And much more affordably. Much Definitely. more affordably. Um, so talk about music education. You said music performance. So I, I pretty much understand what that would be about. But what what would music education deal with? Well, those are uh, folks who actually want to um, perhaps become band directors at high schools, uh, choral directors at high schools, or uh, um, also you know uh, any 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 K to twelve music teacher is going to have to go through a program of, of music education and the two universities that uh, many go to in our area is eastern illinois and uh, and then illinois state because they have very very fine um, music education uh, programs uh, so in order to get you know a, a degree uh, or in order to get a, a job in that field a bachelor's is required, but uh, they could actually do the first two years of that uh, bachelor's degree here at uh, at, at uh, DAC. And um, in addition to the core music uh, curriculum, then there are uh, things that are specific to education, you know, various education electives that they would be uh, taking uh, that will uh, help them, um, uh, you know, in, in that uh, pursuit. We actually... Uh, had one of our students, uh, Kaylor uh, Drews, um, graduate from here and go on to Illinois State, and now he is uh, an uh, an area band director. Uh, so um, we even before these new courses were offered here, uh, there there obviously were students coming to DAC who had that as a, a career focus or goal. So hoping to have more. Uh, because we definitely need music teachers in uh, secondary uh, school education. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations to you and the entire team for working on this. I, I know it's been a work in progress 
for a while and to see it come to fruition, you know, when I was the recruiter for the college, so we're talking about some years ago, but people were always asking about, you know, music, the music program, especially when I would meet with uh, high school students. And so now to be able to tell them, yes, we are offering this, this is something you can do. And again, as you said, at a greatly reduced price, this is something that's definitely going to benefit our community. Yes, I believe so. I definitely believe so. Mm -hmm. So what about personal performances? Do you have anything in the pipe that you're going to be doing? Um, any uh, specials that you've got planned for fall or spring? Well, um, actually on November 19th, a trio Fanfaron is going to be performing at Jacobs Hall. This is a, a three o'clock performance and um, they are um, a trio um, who will be performing um, works on this program, at least, um, only by um, composers of color. Um, and so, you know, a, a lot of people um, know what an impact um, the African American community has made on popular music, uh, basically defining it uh, here in in the United States, uh, but um, and and worldwide, uh, really. Um, but but uh, they may not think of uh, uh, black composers of classical music. Uh, that's something that a lot of people don't know anything about, and so. Um, the uh, the trio Fanfaron, which uh, uh, they are uh, a trio uh, made up of uh, uh, Melita Satterwhite uh, on piano, um, Barbara Headland uh, on uh, cello, and uh, let me get get my information here. Um, sure, I was. Well, let's see here. Well, yeah, well, I threw that one at you, but yeah, um, I, I think that's really exciting. And, um, you know, the addition of Jacobs Hall, that's something that's been a great addition, too, because um, there, there's a nice little area for things like that that we weren't able to utilize. And now we have a dedic dedicated space for that besides the theater. Just a second. I'm going to. I should have had all of this uh, out in front of me. Uh, uh, but um, uh, it's uh, uh, Melita Satterwhite on piano, Barbara Hedlund on cello, and uh, Ji Myung Kim on violin. So this is this is a, an ensemble that we call a uh, piano trio. And so uh, they'll be performing on the 19th. And as I said, all of the works are uh, by black composers, um, including uh, Florence Price. Um, uh, Samuel um, Coleridge Taylor, um, Harry Thacker Burley. These are all names that are probably unfamiliar to a lot of people, but uh, hopefully after this performance, um, uh, that won't be the case. And many, of course, uh, were able to, to go to the trio last spring when they performed at, um, at, at uh, St. James and, um, and it, they uh, put on just a, a really, really exciting, energetic performance. And so I'm sure that this is going to be, um, you know, no less than that on uh, November 19th. So that's one of the things we're looking forward to. And um, and of course, Barbara Hedlund, the cellist with the trio, she's also the principal cellist with the Danville Symphony Orchestra and a very active uh, uh, performer in our area. She plays in practically all of the area um, uh, symphony orchestras. So. Um, uh, it's wonderful to to be uh, you know, have, having them to our campus, and so I look forward to that. Then um, also, let's see, November, uh, not November, but December 6th, the College Singers um, at uh, 2.30 on, uh, on December 6th, they'll be performing at Jacobs Hall, and they're going to be uh, performing uh, French music, um, Spanish music, uh, some German music as as well as some um, um, some Baroque English music, just a nice variety of things. Uh, so that's something that uh, uh, ones can look forward to. And then also on the seventh, I'm going to give a piano recital 
Um, it's something that I, I'm going to start doing every semester. I'm going to give a, a piano recital uh, for my students at the Department of Corrections. Uh, because obviously they can't go to a, a concert, but they're taking music appreciation with me and and part of the requirements of that course is to go to a concert, a live concert and um, and actually write a report. So this will enable them to do that. And uh, that's going to be December 7th, also at 2.30 at Jacobs Hall. So um, those are three, th uh, three things that are going to take place this semester. Uh, but we're we're really looking forward to, especially uh, on the no November 19th, to the uh, performance by uh, Trio Fanfaron. Mm -hmm. And Eric, are all of these open to the public as well as the students? Eric, are these open to the students as well as the public? For some reason, I am not hearing you. Uh, I hope it's not on my end. Okay, well, while we are working on that technology, well, I'll just kind of talk to the audience. So most of the time, all of the things that we're offering at DACC are open to the public as well as our students. So he was talking about the November 19th um, set with Fan for Roan at three o'clock. That's at Jacobs Hall. If you're not familiar with Jacobs Hall, it is uh, let me see, it's kind of catty corner to the theater. So it's back in that area. You can park back in the theater or theater area, the Brimmer Theater area, and walk around. Eric, are you back with us? I am. Now I can okay, hear you. Perfect. So I was just saying to our audience that usually these are all open to the public. Are these open to the public as well as the students? Oh, absolutely. 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 Uh, the performance on the 19th is going to be um, uh, at, a, at a, 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 the tickets are five dollars, uh, but the other events are are free to the public. OK, perfect. So, uh, again, Jacobs Hall is kind of catty corner behind the um, Brimmer Theater, so you can park back there and just walk around. November 19th, that's at 3 o'clock, and then December the 6th with the College Singers at 2.30. And then, uh, Eric, with your recital on December the 7th, what time will that start? That's also going to be at 2.30. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So great opportunity. So as we are closing a semester down, what courses are you going to be offering in the spring? I, I know registration has already started. Um, so uh, any new ones that are being offered or what? Your... We'll, we'll have this, the second uh, in the sequence of music theory courses. So we'll have music theory two and musicianship two. I'll also be teaching music history two and uh, you know, music appreciation. We'll have some um, uh, sections of that, and then um, I'll, I'll also be in charge of college singers and uh, then teaching some piano lessons. So that's that's what my schedule is going to be like next spring. Yep, you're going to have a full load, aren't you? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Dr. Simonson, we appreciate, you know, you having the conversation with us and, and again, just how you're moving the music department forward. I, I know, again, that this has been a dream of yours to be able to move it to where it is today. So, again, thank you to you and your team for all the hard work that you're doing. Well, thank you. Thank you, Laura, for, for having me on. Most certainly. Is there anything else that you would like to add before we end? Well, um, I just uh, I applaud the the recent efforts at recruitment. Uh, last Thursday, um, we had uh, the the you know the the happy uh, experience of of uh, many high schools coming to DAC um, and taking a look at our various programs, and that included our music program. And so we had a lot of people come through. This was this was because of uh, the, the very aggressive efforts of uh, Alexis Simmons. And um, and so they they got to come over to our table and and uh, play some of the instruments that we had there. Talk to us about uh, careers in music and uh, what we offer. And that's something that uh, I uh, I've not been involved in as much before. But uh, it's it's nice to to you know play some role in recruitment now. 
Definitely. Well, yep, they do a great job. Audience, before we end today, I want to remind you that we are once again, uh, Dana Wheeler and the Culinary Department, they are having their Thanksgiving desserts. They do this as a fundraiser to raise money for scholarships for students in the Culinary Department, and they have all kinds of goodies. You can find out more information. If you want one of those order forms, you can just contact me um, at Laura Williams at newhoffmedia.com, and I'd be glad to get one of those forms to you. Or you can call the college and talk to Dana, but she has caramel cake, she has sugar free apple pie, of course, the pumpkin rolls and the carrot cake, um, just all kinds of goodies. And you can order those. I'm not sure what the deadline is, but if you are interested, you need to get a hold of her fairly quickly because this is something that they're taking orders for now and something that. Every year I buy them, every year they're delicious. We thank you for joining us this morning. As always, if you need more information about the college, you can call 443-DAC, which is 443-3222, or you can look them up on the web at dacc.edu or find them on Facebook. We will be back next week with another show. Until then, have a great rest of your week.